Hi guys, welcome back. And today we are tying a very messy but very good pattern. It is the Atlantic Salmon Bug. Uh, we are doing a orange uh, Atlantic Salmon uh, Bug with a uh, chartreuse butt. And these are great to fish uh, for Atlantic Salmon and uh, brown and uh, rainbow trout for that matter. Uh, very messy to tie but uh, very good to fish. So we're using a number four salmon hook, Mustad, and we're going to be using some 80 orange thread to start. So we're going to tie that in at the back here. And just wind it back to about the uh, hook point. Okay. Now, uh, as far as the tag goes, we will be using some uh, French silver tinsel. Again, that's just your basic small size silver tinsel. Now, we're just going to grab some tweezers and pull off some of this tinsel to expose the rope that's underneath. Just a lot easier to tie in. We're gonna tie that in there. Very good. Wrap that forward. We're gonna give it uh, about four to five turns. Now you can use flat silver tinsel gold for that matter. A lot of fishermen love this pattern but hate to tie it just because it does create um, quite a bit of a mess when you're trimming it. Okay, and now we're going to tie in some uh, Unifloss uh, Chartreuse 2 ply. that we're going to go over it uh, itself and we'll just tie that off there to see how it looks uh, looks good Now we will be tying in some hackle here now and we're going to be using some black. It'll look good with the uh, orange deer and grab some uh, hackle. You want a, basically a nice little thin pattern. So we want to grab just a nice little thin part there in the hackle. Oh, that looks good. Uh, we're going to tie that in. We're going to strip off some of the webby hackle. We're going to tie that in right on the side here. And we're going to really secure it down because once we start with the hackle, it's um, we're going to be past the point of no return if it does break or anything or slips out. And that ha has happened. You'll be finished this pattern and you're going to be, you know, palmering the hackle forward and all of a sudden it breaks and it does happen. So we want to protect some of this, the hackle here and a little bit of the floss. So you want to grab just a little bit of scotch tape, okay, a little piece. And you want to just kind of stick it to your pants, your shirt or whatnot, because we, we don't want it really that sticky. And we'll just wrap that in. 
right on the edge there. Just protecting the hackle. Okay. And sometimes we clip too much, so we'll just get some of that out of the way there. There we go. Now, grabbing your deer, you want to grab a little bit of a, a clump. Okay, you can pre-do these before you start and have them all lined up, already cut. But for all intents and purposes today, we will not be doing that, or we did not do that. Just want to get rid of the, some of the fluff when you cut it. Now we'll, we'll uh, actually cut the ends off. And we'll tie that in with a nice little loose wrap and then go around and then wrap in it. Wrapping it forward, pulling it, a couple of wraps in front, pulling it back a bit, not too hard right now. We won't do that too hard right now. Okay because it might slip so now we're just going to continue to build our body you want to grab about the same clump again try to get rid of some of that fluff there turning it around and clipping the ends off nice little loose wrap come around and then tie it in now this is where you want to kind of start pushing it back. And again, watch your thread too. This stuff will cut your thread. Okay. Make sure you pack it in nice. And we'll just continue. Like I said, it's not a very difficult pattern to tie. It's just, uh, one, it's messy. You know, every time you're using clipped deer hair, it is, uh, it is messy. Tie that in. Nice loose wrap. Come around and then really get it in there. Wrapping it forward. Packing it. A couple wraps in the front. Pack it in as much as you can there, okay? And depending again how big you make this bug. This process will take you quite a while. Depending on the length of the uh, hook, shank. Let's loose wrap, come around. Packing it. And probably a couple more pieces in there. Really pack it in there, like I said. And you want to give yourself enough room for a head. So we're probably maybe one more piece of deer hair going in. Nice and loose. There we go. Packing it in again. And yeah, that'll be about it right there. Okay, just give it some nice secure wraps in there. And 
and just grab a little whip finish. And we are we are not done, we're just getting our thread out of the way. Okay. And we'll just start getting rid of some of these at the front here. Now it helps if you have a rotary vise. If not, you can just take take the fly out and uh, put it back in and turn it. So some people call this the fun part now. Some people call it here's the pain in my butt part because uh, it's time to trim. So we're going to build this into a little cigar shape. And basically it's going to be uh, wider on the around the head and then tapering down towards the tail. Uh, what I want to do now is go in and lift it up where the floss is and start clipping it there. And just spinning your vise around. Making sure that you don't get the uh, hackle and that's why we put the tape there but sometimes even with the tape there you'll clip it now you think it's bad when you're just trimming it at home but when you're doing a video sometimes it's even worse and we're just going to start clipping some of this down on an angle actually I'll use my uh, curved scissors there And it'll help if you do have a uh, razor blade uh, to shape this final in the final parts. Like I said, the mess I'm creating right now, and as you guys know, you try to vacuum this up, and this deer hair creates so much static in a vacuum cleaner that it sticks to the inside of the vacuum cleaner. And you have a hell of a time trying to get that out. Okay. Far from done here, we're just gonna clip up some more, clean up some more of this, uh, where the tail is, or we're sorry, where the tag is with the tinsel. And you want pretty well sleek profile here. I'm just gonna come in with a different pair of scissors here. And now, you have one of these nifty little razor blade tools if not just a razor blade but uh, again be careful when using that and this and now you just want to kind of start shaping it and it go, goes to say that having a very sharp razor blade helps quite a bit you want to be very careful with this tool not just protecting yourself from getting cut, but if you slip with this, you're going to create quite the body and screw yourself completely up. So it's 
So now we want to come in. Now we want to start shaping the head a little bit better. Okay. Give it more of a, a round profile. And you can spend quite a long time on this. Trimming it. Every time you think you have it, you look at it again and you go, nah, I can trim a little bit more. I'm still not happy with it. Trying to give it a, a very smooth profile, very rounded profile. Okay. And just take your time with the trimming of it. Okay. And again, I'm not going to spend too much more time on this trimming this just because I think you guys get the gist of it and you guys can trim it on your own. Okay, now we're gonna add in our thread back in, uh, but this time we are going to, I'm just gonna switch out this, uh, bob in here, uh, add in some black. Should have been prepared with that one, sorry about that. Give me one second. Almost there. Okay, I'm just going to add that. Start our thread and tip again. And I just wanted some uh, blackhead on this one. But again, depending on the color of the deer or and or uh, the hackle, that'll be a dip up to you. So now we'll go back and uh, very easily take off the tape. Hopefully our, there we go, everything stayed intact. Okay, great, and you see at the back here where you can kind of start uh, clipping some of this, but I'd be very careful because now the hackle is exposed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to palmer that hackle forward and be very careful with this again. Start at the back and just wiggle it as you're going through. Capture the hackle there. there we did get some deer hair trapped in there so oops and some hackle for that matter and this where it becomes a little bit pain in the butt because you want to have a nice head on it but you don't want to have anything exposed so we're just going to try to clean it up there and anything that's of course sticking out we're going to clip off. And finish her off. A little bit of a uh, wet finish here. 
Uh, I only do four turns on my whip finish uh, these days just because I use a lot of the clear UV uh, resin. Which we're going to apply now. Boy, I got quite a bit of mess of deer hair clippings here. And depending on your UV light, uh, sometimes it only takes about five to 10 seconds. Uh, this light I have here, very powerful. Okay, you can actually see the resin harden or the, uh, the clear coat there. And you can see, hopefully you can see now, if not, I'll show you in a second, but the fluorescent uh, floss that we used, uh, reflecting in UV, which the sun will do the same thing. And I tell you, these, uh, the Atlantic salmon and for that matter, the trout go ballistic over this bug. You can fish it dry or just under the surface film. And there you have it. There is the orange bug, green butt. And again, you can see the fluorescent ability of the floss but again any tag any floss you want to use at the back any combination of uh, deer hair and hackle it's up to you so again uh, very messy but very good fly and i hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you guys next time